All right, yogis, get your playlist ready. I will tell you when we are starting. Drusif! Hopefully we don't bug out on you. You can just watch like freeze frames of Dave again. <laughs> All right, yogis, get started. If you have a block or a pillow, a cushion, if you want to use it, feel free. I love you too, Maddie. <laughs> and get, get into a comfortable seat on your mat, please. Just close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, let it out. One more like that, inhale. Exhale. Seal your lips and begin breathing in and out through your nose. Now, some of you know this about me, but when I first did my yoga training, one of my instructors really encouraged us to always teach to what we're seeing and to not pre-plan and just force a flow onto our students. But in addition to that, when we did readings before class or if we chose a quote to read, she really tried to encourage us to pick something at random and she's the biggest badass at doing this, but she will just open a book and the first thing she sees, she just starts reading. And somehow it always feels so effortless. But today I challenged myself to do that same thing. So I just opened the book and I think the reading that I opened to was quite nice. Just as the world around us changes and evolves, so do circumstances and situations in our lives. We live in a universe that is alive, vibrant, and constantly evolving. Change is the way nature and the universe move us through each period of our lives and into destiny. We are led to our next lesson, our next adventure. There is no need to deny change, to fear it, or fight against it. Change is inevitable. Just as the earth is constant motion and transformation, so are we. Take your place in the universal dance, the universal rhythm, and allow change to happen. Learn to trust your body, its signs, signals, warnings, and excited proclamations. We let the gathering clouds warn us of impending storms and we learn to study and predict tremors in the earth. In much the same way, our body can function as a barometer for our soul and its place in the constantly changing and evolving universe. You are open now, more sensitive than you've been before. Change is coming. It's here. You can feel it in the air. You can feel it in yourself. Thank the universe for what it's about to do. Then thank yourself because change will bring you closer to love. Downward facing dog, please. You can pedal your feet, take your dog for a little walk. And shake your head, yes, no. And really bend your knees. Press your torso back towards the tops of your thighs. Yeah, feel that. Try to keep that same sensation. And then maybe you slowly start to straighten your legs a little bit. And it's okay if they stay bent, yogis. Deep breath in. Exhale, walk your hands all the way back to your toes. Ragdoll. Grab opposite elbow. Yeah, upper body really heavy. And then release your hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold down. <laughs> 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up. Forward fold. Flat back. Fold. One more. Sweep all the way up to the sky. Forward fold. Flat back. High plank. Walk it out. Hold here. Now, yogis, if you are new to Friday Fusion, we get hot and heavy pretty fast. We get right into it. And then we have some sweet, sweet yin at the end. So give this to yourself. Deep breath in. Downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg high. Bend your knee, roll your hip open. Take circles with your ankle. Yeah. And switch directions. And draw big circles with your knee, getting into your hip. I love when I say big circles and Dave takes the tiniest little circles. I can pick on him, he's my husband. Inhale your right leg long. Exhale, knee to go, squeeze it. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, knee to nose and hold. Shift your weight forward a little bit more. That's it. Plant your foot between your hands, low lunge. Nice. Left palm down, right arm twist open. Right away, take wrist circles with your right hand. Yeah, switch directions. And start to take it into your shoulder. Big circles like you're winding up. I don't know, would a good sports analogy be like winding up for baseball pitch? Switch directions. Is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Inhale your right arm to the sky. Turn all the way to your left. Track star. Yeah, you lunge back and forth. Now Dave stays higher in his track star, right? I like to go lower like this. A little like spy action. Totally up to you, yogis. Just working out some of the kinks. Oh, Maggie's on. Maggie, I will bring you Amber after. <laughs> Lunge all the way into your left leg and turn to face the back of your mat. That's it. And right now at home, get your playlist ready. I'm going to count down from five, but instead of saying one, I'm going to hit play because that's how I roll. All right. Five, four, three, two, play. There it goes. Ah, oh, it's such a funky playlist today. I love it. All right. Shoot your left leg back, three-legged down dog. Bend your knee. Roll your hip open. Take circles with your ankle. There it is. Switch directions. Then bring it into your knee. Big circles. Switch directions. That's it. Descend your left leg long. Exhale, knee to nose. Squeeze. Inhale, lengthen back. Knee to nose and hold. Plant your foot low. Lunge. Right palm down. Left arm to the sky. Take your wrist circles. Switch directions. Then get into your shoulder. Big circles. Winding up. Switch directions. And reach your arm up to the sky. Turn all the way to your right track star. Linger on a certain side if it feels nice, yogis. Fun fact, I danced to this song when I was 10 years old. It's a wonderful performance. <laughs> Lunge all the way back into your right leg. Step back to high plank. That's it. You're at the back of your mat. Woo! Breath in. So to shift your way forward, hover halfway, chaturanga. Right to it. Inhale, up dog. Thighs engage. Exhale, down dog. Dave, you're getting ahead of me there, chief. Take a breath in. Breath out. One more. Fill. Empty. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step or jump top of your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise, reach up. Forward, fold. Inhale, halfway. Fold. Ah, that's it. High rise, reach up. Fold down. Flat back. Chaturanga. Inhale up. 
Exhale, down dog. I have to throw you off a little bit there, Dave. <laughs> Breath in. Breath out. One more. Fill. Empty out. Get light. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step or jump. Top of your mat. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale. Fold. Rise. Reach. Forward fold. Flat back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. That's it. One big breath in. Empty out. Step or jump. Halfway. Fold. Rise. Fold down. Flat back. Chaturanga. Hey yo. Up dog. Down dog. That's it. Yogi's breath in. Breath out. One more. Fill. Empty out. Jump. Halfway. Fold. Chair. That's it, yogi. Sink your booty back. Weight in your heels. Oh, this is my jam lately. Dave, you don't know it, but it's express yourself. Express yourself in this chair. Sink a little deeper. Open your arms a little wider. Why not? Big breath. Fold. Inhale halfway. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale your right leg high. Knee to right tricep. Squeeze. Send it back. Left tricep. Take it back. Knee to nose and hold. Warrior one. Back heel down. Rise up. Sink a little deeper. Inhale, reach up, look back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Lift your left leg high. Knee to left tricep. Send it back. Right try. Back. Nose and hold. Warrior one. You got it. Sink a little deeper. Reach up and back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. You know, you know, you got to. Make him express how he feels. <laughs> Take a breath in. Let it go. Right foot forward, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. That's it. Let your left foot come back a little bit more. And I sink into your right leg. Keep your right leg so engaged that your leg is trying to open up behind you. Breath in. Out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, down dog. Step right back. Left foot between your hands, warrior one. Open up two. That's it. Hold here. Breath in. Sink deep. Inhale. Exhale. One more in. Let it go. Send it back. Reverse. Down dog. Breath in. Breath out. Right foot forward, warrior one. Open up two. Reverse. Flip your dog. Right leg all the way up and around. Press your hips to the sky. Standing split. Top of your mat. Your right leg comes all the way back around. Whoo, I love those big transitions. That's it, yogis. Breath in. Lift your leg a little higher. Chair. Come up onto your tippy toes. Ah, sink down low. Lower. Lower. Hold, hold, hold right there. Oh yeah, feel it. I got a little request for some peach work. Stay here for four, three, two, forward fold. Inhale halfway, high plank. Hold here. Take your right knee, drive it up towards your right armpit. Yeah, hold it. I didn't say to move it. Then lower your right knee down towards your right wrist. Then bring it over to your left wrist. Then up to your left pit. Then over to your right armpit. Then back down to your right wrist. Over to your left wrist. Up. Over. Keep going. You're making a little square with your knee, tracing it. Keep your hips lifted. And then a real mind craze. Switch directions. Ah, that's it. Keep going. So close. 
Last two. That's it, Dave. Last one. Three like a down dog. Ah, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Reverse, side angle. Bend into your front leg a little bit more. That's it. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side plank. Right hand plants. Left arm to the sky. Okay, yogis, get crazy. I'm not going to hold you here long. Float your top leg. Even if you're on your forearms or kickstanding, lift your leg a little higher. Then send your left leg top of your mat, warrior one. Ah, look at that transition. Breath in, out. Warrior two. Reverse. Flip your dog. All the way around, your left leg leads, that's it. Press your hips up to the sky, standing split, top of your mat. I love to do these big transitions, right? Like we change up ways so that we're not always doing the same thing or a million chaturangas. Got to keep it fresh. And also it's a way to let our minds go so we're not always anticipating, expecting the same thing, right? That's where the change happens. One more breath. Chair. Hello, breath in, sink low, come up on your tippy toes, sink a little lower, a little lower, a little lower, hold here, four, three, two, fold, flat back, high plank, left knee to left tricep, lower it down to your left wrist, then over to your right wrist, then up to your right tricep. Over to your left tricep, left wrist, right wrist, up, over, down, across, keep going, trace your square, that's it, then switch directions, make your square go the other way, hey, 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 tell yourself you've got this, one more, three like a down dog, breath in, warrior one. I want to hold your hand. Warrior two. Reverse. Side angle. Sink deep into your front leg. Don't lose it. Inhale. Reverse. Side plank. Right, left palm down, right arm to the sky. Go for it. Lift your leg. I know you have it at home. It's Friday. Sweat it out. Lift your leg a little higher. Send it to the front of your mat, low lunge. Breath in, breath out. How are you feeling? Taking a sip of water? Look at that. <laughs> Dave always feels so much pressure, like he has to do everything so perfect. But I want you to know at home that you do not have to be perfect. It is not about that. It's about having fun, finding the joy and freedom on your mat, and then seeing where your body can take you. Left palm down, right arm to the sky. If you're collapsing into your bottom hand, I want you to tent your fingertips or place a block under your left hand. Yeah. Really think about reaching up and out of your top arm. You got it, yogis. Keep your left leg straight and engaged. Inhale. Twist. One more big breath. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse, side angle, reverse, goddess, turn your toes out, sink low into your squat, yes, and see how Dave is lovely practicing his arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together, yeah, rather than just whipping your arms back, feel the muscles of your back squeezing, pulling together, and then engage your booty and sink a little deeper, Little pulses down, pulse down. Woo. I realize I'm wearing Hegel's finest. Where Dave and I met, keep sinking, keep pulsing. Squat a little lower. Go up for five, four, three, two, five star. Reach up. Warrior two, back of your mat. That's it. Changing up the direction on you a little bit. Inhale, reverse, three-legged down dog. Flip 
puppy or dog. Why not? Big breath. One time, booty tap. Lift up, rock star. Yes. Your bottom leg comes underneath. Let your upper body come into a back bend. That's it. Breath in, out. One more fill up. Three legged down dog. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse. Half moon. I know we're doing a lot, but you've got this. You've got this. Breath in. Lift your leg up a little higher. Flex your toes. Chair. Breath in. Fold. Halfway. High plank. Hold here. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. I take that back. I want to do something a little fun, a little fancy. Lift your right toes off your mat just a couple inches. Squeeze your right glute. Then lower down. Lift your left toes up. Squeeze your left glute. Down. Keep alternating. Really feel the lift coming right up from your glute and your hips. Squeeze your booty first to help lift your leg. Yeah. Dave, lift your hips up just a little bit more. That's it. You've got it, yogis. Go for four. Three. Two. Down dog. Breath in. Breath out. Left foot forward, low lunge. Right palm down, left arm twists. If you'd like your block, I'll give it to you here. Twist up and open, roll your top shoulder back. Both legs still strong. Hey, Tim. Breath in. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Side angle. You've got it. Reverse. Goddess. All right, sink down deep, Dave. You can go deep, deep, deep. Oh, look at that. Then pop up, five star. Sink back down, goddess. Squeeze your booty, pop up, five star. Sink down. Rise up. Sink. Up. Down. Up. Keep going. Keep pulling your knees out towards the side. Don't let them collapse in. Keep your booty squeezing the whole time. So close. Four. Three. Two, five star reach up, warrior two in front of the mat. Flip your down dog. That's okay, we don't always have to make it so pretty. Hips up, rock star. Dance all the way around. You know I love to tackle all directions. If we always just move forward and back, we forget a whole side of our body. Press your hips forward. Big breath. Three-legged dog. Warrior one. That's it. Warrior two. Reverse. Half moon. Yeah. That's it. Deep breath, chair, inhale, forward fold, breath in, high plank, all right, for reals, just going to hold the plank, that's it, you, your breath, queen, Bowie, some of your BFFs, breathe, if you have to drop out, right, first of all, challenge yourself to stay for one more breath, right? But you can always come to forearms. I like to change that up. But rather than coming to child's pose, try pushing your hips up to down dog for a breath, then come right back into your plank. Try something different every time, adding on every time. Breath in. Out. 
Pretend you can hear everyone breathing that's doing this class with you at home. Use each other as motivation. That's it, yogis. Just 10 more seconds. Inhale. Exhale. I can't hear you, David. Out. One more full breath. Child's pose. How do you feel, Dave? <laughs> How do you feel at home? Hopefully fantastic. It's a lot of work, it is, and it's it's not easy, it can feel crazy, but it's amazing when you're done the practice and you realize like, damn, my body just did that. My body was capable of doing that. And every time we get stronger and stronger and not only that, but we learn something new about ourselves. Slide out onto your belly. Walk your arms down by your side, chin to the center of your mat. Locust, chest, arms, legs lift off. Inhale up a little higher, stay for the exhale. One more breath, lower down. Interlace your hands at your low back. If it feels okay for you, if it doesn't feel okay for you, don't do it. Otherwise, everyone else at home, rise up, locust. All right, and you can see Dave's taking a different variation right now. And that's cool. One more breath. Lower down. All right, cactus your arms, bend your knees. We're gonna skydive. Inhale, lift up. Yeah, feel the wind blowing up underneath you. Let me slide up for you. So you can see me, I'll belly flop on the floor. You're lifting up, yes. And then staying in your skydiver, your thighs are off your mat. Squeeze your booty to lift your legs up. Just pulse, little pulses up. Up, up. Keep going, keep pulsing. I feel like a beached whale right now. Pulse up, pulse, pulse. Five, four, three, two, rest. Windshield wiper your legs. Press up into upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. One more fill. Let it all go. Walk your feet all the way up to your hands. Inhale, halfway, fold, chair. You've got it, come up onto your tippy toes. Sink all the way down, sink, sink. Hold, hold here, hold. Four, three, two, boat. Hey, yo, all right. Apparently me getting excited and doing the beached whale move paused the music, so we might be a little off, but that's okay. I fast forward a little. All that matters is that we are all listening to Meatloaf together. <laughs> Stay in your boat at home, yogis. Take a deep breath in. Low boat. Ah, high boat, come on up. Low boat. High. Low. High. Keep going, exhale. Inhale, exhale, in, out, five, whoo, four, you got it, Dave, three, last two, last one, hold low boat, hold low boat, hover, 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 three, two, full body stretch.
Breath in. Breath out. All right, plant your heels into the ground. No, 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 keep your legs long. Your heels are planting down. Yeah, yeah. Legs straight. You are using the strength of your core only. Lift yourself all the way up. Reach forward, coffin sit-ups. I like to do these at Halloween because of their name, but we'll do them today. And then go all the way back. Sit all the way up, reach forward. Sit all the way back, that's it, keep going. The challenge here is to not let your feet lift up. You wanna keep your heels driving down. Ah, I don't have to hold you down because you're so good at them. <laughs> keep going, yogis. If you wanna get crazy, we can do sprinter sit-ups. When you come up, bend opposite knee to elbow, squeeze up. You don't wanna do it? Bend your leg up. <laughs> Oh, Dave right. doesn't know what I mean. You come up and you squeeze in. Up. Squeeze. There you go. Nothing like a good sprinter start. Last round of work here, yogis. I promise. I would do anything for love and anything for abs. Keep going. Three. Two. Last one. Hold up, hold here, hold. No, twist, twist, hold the twist, hold. Pulse it. Five, four, three, two. Switch sides. Pulse in. Five, four, three, two. Full body stretch. Ah, say goodbye to abs. You did it, yogis. <laughs> I know. Maddie says, oh my God, as well. <laughs> breath in, breath out. Bend your knees, plant your feet into your mat. Bridge, inhale your hips up to the sky. And because I know you've got this in you, we're gonna do just one more little round of booty. Send your right leg straight up to the sky. And tap your booty down to the ground. Lift up and tap. Yes, yeah, single leg bridge lifts. That's it. Go for four, three, two, one. Hold to the top. Switch legs. This is it, yogis. Pulse down and up. Down and up. I'm admiring your tan lines, Dave. <laughs> Jealous. Go over three, two, last one. Lower all the way down. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles your feet together, knees wide. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Yeah. And then if you have your block or a pillow at home, I want you to grab it. And we're gonna come into supported bridge. So we are making our way into the more yin-like part of class. Yeah, so Dave went right for it. He put the block on its lowest setting. That's what I advise at home. Under your sacrum. And then you can keep your knees bent or if you'd like a little deeper back bend and front body stretch, you can straighten out one leg long. Yeah, and then maybe the other. I'm gonna be holding here for a little bit so if at any time something becomes too much, you can bend your legs back again or come out of the pose all together.
slowly start to lift your hips up, remove your block, your cushion. Um, and just find Supta one more time. Happy baby. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. And then roll on up to a seat. Come all the way onto your belly. Get there however you need to. We're going to come into open wing. So, Dave, I'll have you start with your left arm out long so they can see. So, no, open wing, yeah. So, T out your left arm and then roll onto your left hip. Yeah. And let your legs relax here. I don't want you to hold on to anything, any tension. And your right hand can rest in front of your face or it can reach up and behind you for a little extra opening of your chest. Slowly come back onto your belly. Coming into this right away on the other side, send your right arm out. Roll it onto your right hip. Yeah. And it's okay if it feels different side to side, make the adjustments. Or maybe rolling onto your hip is too much, so you just stay on your belly. Slowly roll back onto your belly and press yourself back to child's pose. If it feels all right, walk your arms down by your side to let your shoulders go. Okay, at home, if you have a blanket or some sort of cushion, I want you to grab it now. We're going to set up for frog. We're not going to be here too long, though, if you can do it this way. No, I still face the front of that. We're going to do both frog eventually. <laughs> yeah. So 
still stay facing the top of your mat because we're gonna we're gonna slide into something else but we're gonna start in frog with your knees out wide yeah hips are roughly over your knees they can be slightly back slightly forward I promise we want to be here long. So keep your frog legs, but slowly start to slide out onto your belly and kick your heels in towards one another. This is bullfrog. It's like sphinx in your upper body and then your heels come up. You can watch Dave as he gets there. You're going to kick your heels up in the air. Yeah. Yeah, but you can stay on your forearms like sphinx in your upper body, Dave. Yeah, there we go. You haven't done this in a while, huh? <laughs> been very long. Since October, I think, right? We did a... Did we even do it? Yeah. I think so. Dave and I were in a 300-hour yin training. Can we play with this then? Slowly lower all the way onto your belly. Just let your legs go out long. Just rest your cheek to one side, your forehead on your arms. Slowly start to press yourself all the way up and come to a seat at the top of your mat. We're going to come into shoelace. So I want you to start with your right leg crossing over your left. Now, Dave, if you want to do it like with your right leg even higher for a second, just to kind of show different variations. Well, you can actually see Dave's knees are not perfectly stacked and that's okay. As long as this is not painful for you, then you can hang out here. If you'd like to go a little further, you can walk yourself forward and fold. And then bonus, if you want to get the backs of your shoulders, eagle your arms, right arm under. Yeah, but let it be heavy. Like you can still let yourself fall down. <laughs> I'll show the way I like to take it at home too, just as an option.
slowly start to lift yourself up. Gently uncross your legs. Give them a little windshield wipe side to side. We'll come into this on the other side. Left leg over. All right, now sitting up tall feels better for you. You need enough of a stretch, stay there. Otherwise, walk yourself forward. Maybe eagle your arms. Start to lift yourself up. Gently windshield wiper your legs. And when you're ready, come all the way onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Supine twist, let your legs fall to the left. Yeah. Come back through center. Other side. Come back through center. Give yourself one more big squeeze. Come into a tight little ball, forehead to knees. You can come up, Dave. Lift up, yeah. No, and then send your legs out long. When you come up into a ball, no. forehead to knees. <laughs> um, I'm zoning out. Dave is. I was already there. He's out. He's already in Shavasana. <laughs> Send your legs long, lift your arms, come out wide, take up space at home. Close your eyes. Deep breath in. Let it all go. Shavasana.
So as you bring movement back into your body, wiggle your toes, fingers, tilt your head from one side to the other. And hug your knees into your chest. Roll onto your favorite side. With your eyes closed, make your way to a seated position. Bring your hands to heart. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, let it go. One more fill. Empty. Thumb knuckles to third eye. Thank you all so much for practicing with us tonight. Thank you, David. Namaste. So. Namaste, yogis. Thank you, Bader. Thank you. Thank you all so much. We did it in the nick of time. And, oh, Natasha, there you are, girl. Hold on one second, everyone. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I startled her from her nap. She, Look! Look at that belly! Look at that belly! Bring her belly! <laughs> All right. Happy Friday, everyone! Thank you so much.